Hi guys, uh, just a quick video to go through the question that we were going through in today's class. Alright, so um, I've just picked up on an error that we um, have from the question itself. So from the question, I, uh, there was an angle provided uh, between um, A, B and D of 30 degrees. Um, so we've now found that this angle here is incorrect. Um, now what follows is just the calculation of that, uh, the rest of this section. Um, realizing that this angle should be 26.6 degrees. Um, the way that I've found this angle is there is a triangle visible in this section here. One, two, and three. I'll redraw it. Um, the base has a length of four and this top of two. And here we have our angle theta. We can calculate the angle theta by finding a tan theta equal to opposite or 2 divided by 4 and we get a tan, oh sorry, theta equal to tan inverse of 0 0.5 and then from that with that we get 26.6 degrees. Okay so um, from here we can calculate the reactions for this entire structure. So balancing the forces in the x direction uh, we have Bx equal to zero because there's no other forces in the x direction. Um, moments around point A, um, we have 400 newtons going straight through point A, our reference point, um, and Bx going through that reference point as well. Ay going through the reference point, so the only force creating a moment is this one here, By times its perpendicular distance of two meters. So we have that written here, and we get a value of zero. Um, now we have our two values of Bx and By. We can now check for the forces in the Y. Um, here we've got 400 going down, Ay going up, and By going up. Um, each of these are written here. Um, we know the value of By is zero, and so we get the value of Ay rearranging this equation as 400 newtons. Okay, so our reaction forces now are 400 newtons here. Um, By equal to zero, Bx equal to zero, and our uh, 400 newtons. And then we can start looking at each one of the individual pins, knowing that each pin is in equilibrium as well. Okay, so I'm going to move you across to the next question here. Um, so here we can draw a free body diagram of pin C. So for pin C, we've got FCD going towards the left, FCB going down on an angle, and 400 newtons going down. Um, so we've isolated that pin C um, and replaced all of the members with tension forces. Now doing a balance of forces for each of these, we get FY um, here, so 400 newtons going down, uh, minus FCB sine 45, so that's the Y component of this force. Um, and then no y component for this because it's entirely in the x direction. Okay, so uh, re rearranging, we get FCB equal to minus 565.7, which we had in class, and also FCD equal to minus 400 newtons. Um, so, so far, that angle that we calculated previously has not affected anything so far. Okay, um, we can do the same analysis for pin A, so I'm just going to move the camera across so you can see that. Okay, so this is for pin A. For pin A, we've drawn a free body diagram and we go through a similar analysis. We've got FAD going up on an angle of 45 degrees, 400 newtons acting up, and FAB going towards the right. So this was from our reaction force um, at the bottom that we calculated previously. Okay, so going through, um, balancing of forces in the y direction, we've got 400 newtons going up. FAD, um, the y component of that is FAD times sine 45. Um, and then we get from that FAD equal to minus 565.7 from rearranging. We can substitute that back into our equation for forces in the x direction. In the x direction, we have FAB going to the right and the x component of this force, so FAD times cosine of 45 going towards the left, so we get a negative here. 
Um, we substitute the value of minus 565.7 into FAB, and then from here we get FAB equal to minus 400. Okay, so the next part will change a little bit. Okay, so now you should be able to see our calculations for pin number D. So for pin number D, we've got um, FDC going to the right, FDB going down and on an angle, and FDA, FDA going down on an angle of 45 degrees. Um, we take the summation of forces in the X direction, we've got FDC, FDB cosine 26.6, and FDA going uh, to the right as well, uh, cosine 45. Um, FDC and FDB, uh, uh, FDC we know from previous calculations. Um, FDA, we know from the previous calculation, and we're trying to find out FDB in this calculation here. So we can substitute and rearrange, and we get for a final answer here for FDB, 894.4 newtons. Okay, so we can check the value that we have here by taking um, the value that we got for FDB and FDA and substituting it into our summation of forces in the y direction. So we're taking x towards the right and y going up. And for that we get um, FDB times sine 26.6. So FDB times sine 26.6 um, and then minus FDA sine 45. FDA sine 45. I'm using this angle here of 45. So FDA sine 45. Substitute the values. Um, and both of these, the left hand side one part gets to minus 400, the right hand side part gets to 400, and we should see that that is okay. Now I'll have a, an attempt at trying to do the balance of forces for pin B, and I'll create a video to show that to you as well. Uh, thanks for watching, see you soon.